Hello everyone, how you doing? This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm going to wait for you guys to actually get online. Um, praise God, praise God. Um, let me know if you can hear me and see me clearly. Praise God, praise God. Somebody say mic check. Somebody say mic check, please. Praise God. Hallelujah to his name. Somebody say mic check. I can hear you, see you, Apostle. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's been a minute since I've been on here, right? Hallelujah to his name. God is so good. Yes, it's testimony time. Um, this is, this is going to be real good. I promise you. So if you don't mind, can you please share, tag somebody right now? This is, I'm coming. Let me tell you something. You're going to be shocked about what I'm getting ready to say. And so if anybody that you know right now, I'm very serious. If there's anyone that you know that are going through a rough time right now, please press share. Please press tag because they're going to need to hear this message. And as a matter of fact, if you're going through a challenging time, you're going to need to hear this message. So I pray that you, you know, tag somebody, share it, do whatever you got to do because it's, it's going to blow your mind. And I did not know that God was going to make me reveal what I'm getting ready to reveal to you guys. I'm very serious. So I pray that, like I say, that you guys are ready. Um, I need somebody to say, I hear you loud and clear. Praise God. I, I, yes, yes. How you doing? I need y'all to hear me now. And again, tag somebody. If you know anybody that's going through, I'm talking about excruciating times where, I mean, it's rough. You know, it's getting rough. It has been rough. I need you to tag them. I need you to share this because what I'm getting ready to share, I don't think y'all have heard that out of my mouth like maybe testimony back in the day. But this is this is different. So praise God. Okay, everybody say you hear me. Praise God. Praise God. I want to thank you for those that have stood with me through trying times, time times. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know what I'm saying. God is good. Glory to God. So the testimony is I'm, I am here in New York and I thank God. And isn't it ironic how my plans were to go to Florida? Oh, come on, somebody. I know y'all know that, right? I mean, and look, I was wondering why God wasn't allowed to go through. I said, God, I don't understand. I want to go to Destin. You said I could be live my life on the beach God but of course he's never said time frame come on somebody hallelujah but I, I'm, I got to share this and again I didn't know that God was going to make me share this I got I got up you know this morning I'm thinking I'm just going to you know do a, a normal live but God said no I want you to tell them what you just came from and what I saved you from I say all right here we go so um point blank I know that I'm going to the next level in life the prophecy was, when I was 27 years old, in case you never knew it and never heard of it, I was getting high one night off of cocaine. That's when the Lord first spoke to me. That's why you don't count out anybody. I know they say that, you know, they're sinners. Are they doing that? They're doing drugs. They're doing alcohol. Let me tell you something. God will speak to you right in your mess. God will speak to you so you can become a message. Don't tell me because I'm living proof of it. Hallelujah. I was high as a kite when God told me this. He said, you're going to be like a female Malcolm X. At that time, I hadn't even heard of Malcolm X, just to be honest with you. You know, I was too busy in the streets. I wasn't in school like that. Come on somebody, hallelujah. I did graduate and everything, but y'all know I was in the streets. And I, I, I remember being high and God said, you're going to be like a female Malcolm X. You're going to go through a lot. He said, but hold on, Deanna. And the prophecy is coming true. He said, I'm going to make your name great. He said, you're going to go from level to level, glory to glory. He said, but you're going to go through some hard stuff. He said, but you're going to have to hold on and be strong. And you know, you think when God first tells you, oh, yes, God, yes, God. But can I tell you, those times were here. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got to be very transparent. And, and you know, that's just who I am anyway. Um, I, I don't even know where to begin. But for the last three to four months, and, and I know this, and, and y'all should have picked it up. The ones that follow me, you should have picked it up. And some of you probably did in the spirit. You notice I wasn't getting on as much and God was working with me. Well, that was true. But also, truth of the matter is, I was going through some hard stuff. The devil was hitting me so hard in my mind, in my soul. And I'm just going to be very transparent. And I hope somebody, people don't get mad. But if they get mad, they get mad. I mean, pressure was being applied from, from I'm just going to be from people I love. And I didn't understand it. Was hurting me. I'm hurting my heart. And, and it was just, it was excruciating pain, you guys. And I'm not trying to hurt anybody, throw slings at anybody. I'm telling you my testimony. I felt as if I was alone. I didn't have nobody. And I'm going to tell you right now. I begin to almost spiral into a dark place where I would ride around sometimes. I said, I'm going to the store. I went to the store, but I would park sometimes. 
And it got so hard, you guys, that the enemy was telling me, you know, ain't nobody going to know if you just go get a drink. Oh, come on, somebody. I got to tell you what I've been through. It got so hard that I almost, I almost, and I had to fight. And I had to fight. And I had to fight. And I said, I said God, what's going on? I said, I thought I beat this. What's going on? God said, Deanna, I, I, I got to help you test it. He said, because I'm about to take you to a level you've never known. He said, so I got to know your character going to be strong. I got to know that you can handle where I'm getting ready to take you. And y'all, it got dark. I, I thought about committing suicide. It was so hard. I said, God, what's going on? I, I said, I, I, I ain't went through this. I said, ain't nothing really going on that bad. Now, now, some things were going on, to be honest with you, like between some friends and I, they were really mistreating. I'm just going to be real. I hope they don't get mad, but it's real. And I mean, I felt totally alone. I know I wasn't alone, but I couldn't share people what I was saying because God said, I want you to depend on me during this dark time. It got so hard, you guys. I almost broke. It got so hard. It got so hard, but I, I would pray with myself and I would talk to myself. And I said, you didn't came too far. Don't you dare. And then God would talk to me. Then the angels would talk to me. The angels ministered to me. This is your test. You got to pass it. You got to pass it. You got to pass it. I'm telling you, Apostle Deanna Dixon went through it for the last three or four months. It got so hard, you guys. I didn't even know where this stuff was coming from because I wasn't instant, wasn't doing anything. But God, God was allowing some hard stuff to come on me and come at me. And it was so hard until I almost broke, you guys. I almost broke it. And then I, I was like, God, God, why don't you help me? Give me, give, give me some power from on high. And he kept saying, testing, testing, testing. He said, because I got to make sure that you can stand while I'm getting ready to take you. I mean, it got hard. It got hard. I felt so alone. I, I, and and I, I had to dig down. I had to dig down. There were times I couldn't get on here because I was so out of it. I said, God, 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 what's going on? I even got mad at God at one point. I said, I've been faithful to you. What is this about? I don't understand. I said, I, said, I need you right now. He said, I am here. He said, but also you are being tested. And I'm telling you, I mean, it was coming so heavy. And then attacks from people that I love. I didn't understand. I'm talking about heavy attacks. Was this way, that way. I mean, everywhere I looked, and I felt so alone. And I really couldn't call on nobody. And just truth be told, when I did call on mentors, they didn't even answer the phone. God wouldn't even let them answer the phone. Hallelujah. And I was really, I said, God, I said, I don't understand. He said, Deanna, I'm giving you an Elijah anointing. And Elijah felt so alone when Jezebel was after him. And he said, Jezebel after you. He said, so I got to make sure you can stand while I'm getting ready to take you. He said, because people don't understand what being blessed really about. It's not just about material wealth. But when you get that wealth, other things come with it. And he said, I got to make sure that before I bless you, that you can stand. He said, because a lot of them, when they get blessed, they lose their mind. He said, a lot of them, they fall from the faith. A lot of them, they start shaking hands with Satan. And he said, I don't want you to ever do that. Hallelujah. I'm telling you guys, I was tested. I was tested beyond to where I, I really thought about killing myself. I said, God, I'm tired. I even asked God, I said, can you just take me? I'm tired. I'm tired. I've done everything you've asked me to do. I, can't, I ain't got no more. I said, God, I ain't got no more. You know, he was trying to tell me to get on here. I couldn't even get on here. I said, I ain't got no more, God. And God said, Deanna, you're being tested. You're being tested. And I'm here to tell you, last night I got here at 1230. And I prayed till 6 o'clock this morning because I heard God say, you passed. And I just want y'all to know that when you have a great anointing and God is getting ready to take you to the next level, you got to be tested beyond what you can comprehend, beyond what you feel, beyond what you think. Or you don't hear what I'm saying. And I couldn't really tell y'all. I couldn't tell nobody because this was my test. Come on, somebody. Y'all remember when David said, I encouraged myself. There are times that you want to encourage yourself. Because even the people that you think love you don't love you. Oh, I'm just being real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, I passed. I passed. I passed. Hallelujah. God said, it's over. He said, now I'm going to take you to a place you've never been. A place of wealth. A place of health. Because I've been going to chance with my body that y'all didn't know about. I mean, it, it, financially, everything. I, I was just like, God, what I did? I thought I did something. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And I'm just telling you right now, no matter what you're going through, hold on to God. Because the enemy will even send people to try to, he, he, during that period, he sent men to try to sleep with me. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. He sent people to try to test me. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. 
But you want me to lie? I thought about it. <laughs> Hello. I was hurting so bad, I didn't know what I was thinking. But I passed. And I just want to encourage anybody that's going through it. We have to go through. If you look at that Bible from Genesis to Revelation, everybody that truly had power was tested beyond. Look, Joseph. Joseph stayed in prison eight years and ain't did nothing to nobody. But God said, I got to build your character. That's what this is. Character building. Strength building. Hallelujah. Y'all didn't even know what I was going through. I hit it kind of well. Because really, I'm going to be real honest with you. You know a stranger read me two days ago? Guy from, um, where he was from? Maryland. Came up to me, read my mail. He said for the last, he said two years, and what he was right by financially. He said, you've been getting hit like nobody's business. He said, but hold on, because God got something for you, and he gave me a book. Man, don't even know me. And he said, you have forever touched my life. He said, because I see who you're going to be. He said, they think you something now. He said, but God getting ready to do something they ain't never seen. Hallelujah to his name. And I can feel it, you guys. This morning, I feel like a new person. I'm in a new city. I, I, I'm not, oh, come on, somebody. Y'all know I ain't never fronted. And I'm feeling it. I feel it. If that was the fight, that was, that's what the fight was all about. And can I tell you, Satan was trying to kill me. He even used friends to try to hurt me. And I forgive. So don't think I'm throwing no slings because people be, you know how people think. I forgive. I forgive. It hurt now. It hurt. Oh, it hurt. But I forgive because that's who we are. And they were just doing what they were supposed to do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you. Hold on. Be strong. I don't care how hard it gets. And it's going to get hard. Especially if you call to a high calling. Hallelujah. You see, the ones that play, they don't understand this. You see, the ones that perpetrate, honey, when you really real, you get some uncommon warfare. And that's why the ones that play, y'all better stop playing because that's why some of y'all backslide. Because you try to pretend to be an apostle prophet, and then when that warfare comes, it'll back you up, honey. It'll back you up. it back me up. I'm going to tell the truth up in here today. But I kept fasting and praying. That's, that's another reason why I lost a lot of weight. I kept fasting and praying. I said, devil, I'm fighting for my life. You ain't finna take me out just like that. I said, the streets didn't take me out. God didn't let me get killed in my sin. I'm not going to let you win. I said, now on that, there got people that's dependent on me. Because it's true. Some of you that's watching my walk, it's encouraging your walk. How could I not fight for you as well as myself? See, because that's what leaders stop doing. Leaders stop fighting. They stop laboring for people. Oh, hallelujah to his name. So... I feel blessed this morning. I feel empowered. And I made it. I made it through that dark time. Will there be other dark times? Probably so. Because you go from glory to glory, faith to faith. Come on somebody, hallelujah. But I'm telling you how you do it. This kind come out but by fasting and praying. I wouldn't hardly eat. I said, devil, you trying to kill me? The devil is like, you trying to take me out? Oh, wait a minute, you sending people after me? I'm talking about it got hard. Y'all think I'm kidding. Because when you're going through battles, sin kind of start looking good. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all want, want me to lie? Hallelujah. Liar, I'm not. I'm going to tell the truth up in here. He kept me. I knew it was God. He kept me. And that's why I love him. I can never let him go. I'll never leave him. Because he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. Even in your wrongness. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just being honest with you. I know y'all wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. I ain't gonna lie. I, I was, I had, you know, got put on my makeup. Got to look cute today, right? And then God said, I tell him. I said, what? I ain't gonna lie. I was shocked. I said, I said, okay. You know, and, and I don't feel ashamed. No, I don't. Because my testimony gonna help some of you that's going through. That's thinking the same thing I was thinking. Because that devil, different levels. He was coming so hard. Y'all, I thought I was gonna lose my mind. I, I, I'm telling you, and I thank God for my students. They, they stood by me. They taught the class when I couldn't even teach. I couldn't even teach. Y'all not hearing me? Because I don't front. When something's going on, I'm not getting... It, people don't understand. Even this, even through Facebook lives, those are spirits. And people don't understand because y'all be following everybody on Facebook. Y'all don't understand. Whatever you follow, even through the spirit, it is being delivered and imparted into your spirit. You got to watch what you're doing. How dare I taint anybody? Hallelujah. But leaders don't think like that because they have to have money and that platform. Come on, somebody. And some of y'all so hungry until so y'all don't have wisdom and discernment. Y'all just eat up everything. Baby, I, 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 I pick and choose what I eat to go in my spirit. Hallelujah. And you better start doing that. Because that's why some of y'all be which now. I'm just being real with you. Hallelujah. I ain't know I was going to break down, though. I ain't know I was going to do all that crying. But, um, you know, but God bless you guys. Um, he did it. He did it. You know that wait to excel moment? I excelled this morning. 
I, I couldn't go to sleep. I, I, I praised him. I'm serious. I praised God from, I say, 1.30 to 6.30 this morning. Just praising him. Getting in that word. Thinking him. Thinking. I couldn't. I, I said, thank you so much. I, I, I didn't know I had thank yous like that in my spirit. Thank you for keeping me when the devil wants to kill me. Thank you for keeping me when everybody turned their back on me. Thank you for keeping me when friends lied on me. Thank you for keeping me when they tried to mistreat me. Thank you for keeping me when I didn't even love myself. Thank you for keeping me when I want to kill myself. Thank you for keeping me when I doubted myself. Thank you for keeping me, Lord. Hallelujah. He kept me. Mm -mm -mm. He kept me. And that's why I go so hard for the Lord. Don't care what nobody think. Because you don't know what I've been going through. You don't know how we roll. Hallelujah. And I didn't know how I was going to do this. I, I, I wasn't trying to tell y'all my business like this. But I am obedient because it helps others. Whew. Lord have mercy. God is good. So I'm happy. I know that something's getting ready to happen. I can feel it. You know how you can feel it? I, I feel it. And it ain't just about money, honey. It's about everything. He said, I'm about to bless you and blow your mind in every area of your life. Hallelujah. How many of us need blessings? Hallelujah. So God bless you. And like I say, please tag, share this. And I know y'all y'all never saw Apostle Dan Dixon, you know, actually in, in this light. Because I'm, I'm strong. I'm strong in the Lord. But I'm telling you, it got, it, it, got, it, it, ooh, it got hot up in here. Oh, that devil tried to take me out. That's because he knew I'm a threat. And now, I'm going to tell you right now, he done messed up. Oh, come on, somebody. He done messed up. Because he should have killed me when I was weak. Because now... I'm going higher in the Lord, and I'm about to give it all I got some more. So now he done messed up for sure. Hallelujah to his name. I'm really, I'm talking about y'all thought I was crazy before. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. So God bless you. I love you, and that's why I do it. I do it because I love you guys. You know, when you are truly a child of God, you don't have hate in your heart. You don't have arrogance in your heart. You don't have all that old stupid foolishness because God, God will check you on it. You have love. Are we perfect? Mm -mm. Are we going to be perfect? No. Are you going to make mistakes? Yes. But you get back up. You repent and tell the truth. Don't be lying and hiding. Checking and jiving. Come on, somebody. Because people see through it anyway. Hello. So um, we do this and also to encourage each other. Because we don't know what each other going through. I bet y'all didn't know what I was going through. I would smile and like, I can get up on here. It's not pretending. It's, it's, it's pushing through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I went through hell to get to heaven. Come on, somebody. I don't mind going anywhere as long as I can get out of it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Especially if it's not conducive. So I just pray right now for everybody that is going through and that have been through hell. I pray, Father God, healing. I pray deliverance, Father God. I sever that thing to the root of that thing in the name of Jesus. And I say, victory is yours. That God will deliver. He said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, he said, I'll lift up a standard. Hallelujah. He lift up a standard. He lift up a standard, you guys. Hallelujah. And I pray deliverance, healing right now in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over every last one of you. I draw a bloodline over your mind, your body, and your soul. Satan, you cannot have what is God's. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I seal this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. It's the blood, you guys. It's the blood of Jesus that saves us, that heals us, that delivers us. So God bless you. God keep you. And as always, is always love. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon saying, Real life soldiers, and that's what we are. True soldiers, we don't die. God bless you.